Isn't it so beautiful? And then also, let's take a moment and appreciate the sun, guys. Take a moment and appreciate the sun. It's just so beautiful. Really nice. <laughs> beautiful Janubians welcome back to my channel this is your girl joy thank you so so much guys for showing up today and a very very happy new year to you all guys I am so happy that we're in this new year together and I pray that may this year be your year may it bring you so much success good health and abundance welcome back to our favorite channel now to anyone out there who has never been to south sudan i know that when you hear the name south sudan all you think about is poverty and war and impoverished people and i know that most people think that this is how the entire of south sudan looks like i recently did a google search on uh, south sudan homes and this is what google brought up that this is where and how South Sudanese people live. And guys, I am not shocked at all at this because for so long, the Western media has been focusing on pumping out to this narrative that Africans live something close to this. But is this true? Is this how the entire of South Sudan really looks like? Guys, I'm not here to tell you that places like this do not exist in South Sudan. Yes, they do. This is part of our country and we are so proud of it. It is part of our heritage and culture as the South Sudanese people and as Africans. Guys, come let me show you the other side of South Sudan that the Western media never shows you. But before that, let me take you back to a typical African village.
video guys i'm gonna be showing you beautiful homes luxurious houses in juba that the western media never gets to show you and these places are really beautiful guys and they're just a few of the so many places that i would have visited and there are those people who've been saying oh africa is not the place to be i would never go to south sudan let me tell you something some of these people cannot even afford to live in some of these houses it's so funny how they warn you about visiting africa and they're the very first ones to actually do anywho let me show you around <laughs> So guys, uh, we're here on the second property. We've come to check it out. Uh, we're still waiting for the owner to confirm our entry. So as you can see, that is the house. Finally, I'm getting on fast. Finally, be riding on my way. 
Finally woke up with some luck in the book I don't give a what someone, someone say Finally got my friends in the back on my roller We gon' make it big one day We gon' make it big, I say yeah. Stay in the moon Stay tomorrow with me something quite interesting you will get to see that there's a stark difference in um, the economic standards of individuals as you can see from this house uh, let me show you what I mean this is a very beautiful house it's a concrete house right next to it it's a completely different house and this talks to us about the economic parity here in South Sudan there are those who are ahead in life and there are those who are still starting off and I am not going to pretend that this does not exist because it is the reality all over the world um, we don't segregate people live as a community you know we don't have um, neighborhoods for affluent people. We don't have that. Um, people just construct depending on their ability. So, um, as you can see, it's a very interesting uh, thing that is going on, but that is how it is here for us in South Sudan. You construct according to your ability, you construct according to your monetary power. Uh, and it's a beautiful thing for people to be able to coexist. That's a really nice. Isn't it so beautiful? And then also, let's take a moment and appreciate the sun, guys. Take a moment and appreciate this sun. It's just so beautiful. Really nice. We've seen the house, it's five bedroom. It's pretty much in a very good condition for a house that was constructed in 2005. So, very spacious compound. Um, the amenities are intact, just a little bit of uh, renovation, and the house will be good to go. So, yeah, but I didn't allow me to Germany. Germany. Mm, it smells so good, guys. It smells so good. Yeah, okay, so I am also going to try. <laughs> Okay guys, so we have come to the end of our tour today. I hope you did enjoy our real estate tour around Juba. Um, I hope that that changed a little bit of your um, thinking about Juba. Um, yeah. Because.
because it is the responsibility of our generation to change the narrative, to speak the African truth to power, even when our voice shakes, even when our entire being quivers. I hope you did enjoy, and if you did, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not done so yet. This is the one and